Right now we want to look at how to construct a tile set that we could use in an actual game uh, into that black RGB format using some different sources that we may have created in other tools or you know may have been created for us and we have as bitmap files or whatever. Um, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna need to change my, my palette here to match but I'm gonna open up uh, this beta assets folder here and I'm going to take a look at Oh, I could look at the uh, the random platform tiles. I'm actually going to look at, say, these tiles here. Um, so with these tiles here, these obviously are not this whole uh, as this whole bitmap here. Actually, obviously has way more than three three colors plus black. I mean, even this tile alone has one, two, three, four, five, six colors, and I need to reduce that down to three. And none of these are the right color, except maybe black is the only right color. And I want this to be in one of my tile sets. The goal is to have your tile, to have all your graphics in, oops, if you go to graphic assets, laid out in these tile sets. So what you want is, if you notice, you have 18 tile sets. You have, uh, I believe it's 30 screen specific tile sets, 10 for each bank, um, where you have six for each bank of main tile sets. And then you have some path tiles, and you have tile sets for game objects such as your player. Um, you have monster tile sets here, and then you have tile sets for special screens. And the only ones that we're going to be using for this are your start screen and your win screen. However, you'll notice you have register and, and uh, shop screen and death screen and, and NPC screen. Um, and we load those as we need them because they take up a huge amount of space. Um, but for right now, I know that we're going to need some background tile sets. So the goal is to have none of these be black as you're building your game. And, and we want to replace background character zero, zero. This is tile set zero. We want to replace this with new graphics. So um, I could copy this real quick. Let's say I want to put all, let's say I just want to put these spikes into a tile set. So I'm going to select that, control C, and I'm going to open up that graphic assets that first tile set and I'm going to I, I usually keep this open for what I want the default graphic to be so if I had a platform game this might be blank sky if I had a top-down game this might be grass etc etc so I'm gonna paste it into the second tile uh, but the problem is again I need to reduce this to three colors and if you remember from the last step if I check bad pixels all of them are bad except for probably black. Even the red is not the, the, the right shade of red that we need. Um, so I'm gonna actually look at it through this black RGB. I know I want the ground color to be uh, to be one color, and I know that the spike is gonna have to be another, and I could either use the shading as the third color, or the black as another color, or the red as another color. Um, so it doesn't really, it's not really gonna work through this uh, tile, this, um, this sub palette here. Uh, I want to make more of like that maze game where the ground I'm going to use is black and uh, maybe I'll use uh, this as ground color like a green and this might be a feature color like basically like that. This would be good for a spike. So what I want is I want the ground to be grass color. So I'm going to get my, uh, my global t color tile change if I want to change that color in the entire palette or tile color change if I just want to change it in that one tile, on um, that one eight by eight tile. Um, so now, um, this is now actually this. This is what it looks like, but translated through this last color uh, in the in the sub palette here is this green color. So when I look at it translated through the palette, it looks like the ground. Um, similarly, I'm gonna get the gray, and I'm going to, I'll global color change the gray to that, and the dark gray to that. Now I'm left with a problem. If I showed bad pixels now, most of it goes away except for this red and this lighter red. And look, I don't have the colors to use here. So I can't really do that the same way. I can't make it look as cool with the blood and the dripping unless maybe I made it gray and red instead of two tones of gray. But I kind of like the, the volume that the two tones of gray give it. So I'm gonna translate it back to the palettes and I'm actually gonna turn just all this into light gray. So I'll get light gray or if I was looking at it through this, I would be getting red, right? I want these to be actual red. So I'm going to make all the red um, gray. And maybe what I'll do is I'll use the pencil tool to give this a more defined point. Um, 
like that. So that that suggests more of a, a sharp point where the blood was selling it before. Now it's a sharp point. Um, so now if I look at show bad pixels, I've got no bad pixels there. That actually is a black RGB image that I can use and I can save that. And it's it just it's saving it over the top of tile set zero right now. Hit yes, okay. And now I can open a sec you know, a second bit of graphics, like I want to use this tree. Okay, so I can select this tree. Control C. And now I can open up my tile set again. And oops, I'm sorry, in graphic assets, I can open up this tile set. And I can move my mouse to the top left corner. And maybe I'll put the tree over here just so it's out of the way. And that's what I get for the tree. But again, even though that's got green in it, it kind of looks like this color. It's not. And what I'm seeing here is I need a ground color, which is actually the same as this part of the tree, if you notice. So that's color number one. Color number two is this brighter green color. And color number three is this brown color. And I have black again. So maybe I'll make a second sub palette here. Um, that can handle that. So it's black and then it's green is the ground color. Let me put the green in the same place like this. And it's just up to you how you organize your colors. Um, I'm going to put my highlight color, which is going to be like a brighter green. Maybe that's not bright enough. Maybe this would be it. And then the, the shadow color, which in this I'm going to make the brown color. And I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, I'll make global color changes. Uh, the ground green, I'm going to make that color green which if I look at it translated, it looks like that. Um, I'm gonna use the lighter color green for that, and I'm gonna use the brown for that. And maybe I use a darker brown or whatever. Now, if I look at bad pixels, none of them are bad. It actually looks like this. So this is what it actually looks like. And now I save it again. And this is the method that, I'm, that I would use if I wanted to construct a tile set. Um, and again, I can, any type of tile set. So if I was looking at character tiles, for instance, um, which I'm going to do in a minute if I want to game object tiles. I could open that up and I need my game objects to fit in here like my player. So if I opened up beta assets and graphics and I use this for my player tiles, um, I need to copy all this and I want all of these animations. I'm going to control C and I would open up game objects. So I would go to graphic assets game objects and I want my player to be starting from the top left corner right there. So now I've got uh, uh, a game object tile set started and I can hit save and that one is already in black RGB for me. Now if I wanted to experiment with what this might look like through different colors I don't want to start changing uh, that obviously doesn't look very good um, right that doesn't look very good um, I want to start changing the colors, but I don't want to change these colors because then I'm literally changing this this grass line palette. That's why I made these temp palettes so I can start messing around with what this guy would look like. And actually, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, maybe a different color shirt. Maybe he's got a blue shirt like this. You know, maybe that's the look I'm going for. Maybe I want him to have blonde hair. Whoops blondish hair like that his face and his hair look a little too close there so maybe he's got brown hair instead um, so you can see how I can I can easily do that so that's how I'm going to construct tile sets I could also you know do the same thing copy and paste into game objects when I'm making monster tile sets I can do the exact same thing um, and you know if I just wanted to start from scratch, I could also make a new, and you can see the names of these tile sets, a main tile set, a screen tile set, a path group, a full tile set, uh, which would be used for like start screens and wind screens, the HUD area tile set, game objects, monster tiles. So it gives you an idea, uh, even if you don't remember the size of each of these, I'm going to work on monster tiles. Cool. That's the size of it. Um, in fact, if I were to save as, this is the size of these monster tile sets. So I could write over one of these monster tile sets like that. Um, and that would show up as my monster tile set. So that's how we can take graphics from bitmaps and simplify the graphics and construct uh, custom tile sets based on existing graphics.